My son, Brett, is 41 years of age. Um, we're Australian, we live in Brisbane, in Queensland, Australia, and he has a disease called multiple sclerosis. He was diagnosed six years ago with um, a progressive form of multiple sclerosis, and he has tried various uh, injection type treatments that the neurologists in Brisbane could offer him and none of them actually made any improvement. Over the last six years he's gradually gone downhill to the stage where for the past two years he's been living in a residence that have full-time carers. He now needs care to um, for all of his movement from personal care and cooking uh, as well as um, his residence. He travelled to Germany for some stem cell um, work but it didn't make any improvement. Um, so we continually keep looking to see what trials are being done, any new innovations that are happening and um, while my daughter Julie was looking through that she came across um, the HSCT treatment and then we started looking around where it was available and um, she came across Manipal Hospital and we made, started making arrangements and booking and organising dates. Uh, once we got that we, we, we came over Brett um, and myself and when we landed in Bangalore we were met at the airport by um, a hospital uh, attendant. Took us by car straight to the hotel, the urban hotel and they saw us to a room. Um, we had a few days before we went to the hospital and then we met Dr Met. Um, and he explained the whole system. Now we were fully aware when we came that Brett might not pass the first phase the first phase of the treatment where he had to have all his vital organs um, checked and um, a few ECG heart and lungs checked as well. But he, he got through that and then he moved on to phase two. Um, this was done, phase one was done um, as outpatient. Then we went to the hospital and we stayed overnight for a couple of nights while he had a practice run of chemotherapy. He had no side effects and he handled it very well. So we came home and started having injections to prepare him for his stem cell harvest. This was done at, um, by myself in, and just while we were staying at the hotel. Um, after about 10 days we went back to the hospital and we stayed in for four nights and during this time he went down to the blood bank and had his stem cells harvested over three days. Luckily we got the required number that Dr Amit was happy with and um, after that we were discharged and he had about another 10 days break where to give his body complete rest before he started the treatment. We went back into the hospital um, on a Sunday and on the Monday morning they implanted a Hickman line for the IV fluids and drugs that he was going to be undertaken. Um, when we went up, um, we had the Hickman line put in and then we went to the um, bone marrow transfer room, the isolation room. Then we went to the BMT and it was wonderful because it was like a one-on-one -on -one nurse to patient ratio. But all of the, the three nurses that were there, because there were three patients, were able to assist Brett at times when he needed extra care. As a mum, I was expecting uh, quite a lot of problems because we've been told this is a harsh treatment however he's responded really well um, then we had a really great day where he sat up and shared jokes with me and watched movies so it's quite an emotional roller coaster as far as our total care has gone the nursing staff not only were professional in their care for Brett, they were just wonderful people. They talked to us about themselves, they asked about our family, they had a look at and met Brett's daughter during the Skype conversation. And as far as Dr Amit and then we also saw um, the dermatologist and the haematologist who came in each day. Um, he just inspires so much confidence. He is so um, incredibly knowledgeable and it made us feel very confident that this is going to help Brett and it's going to work. He's made us a very realistic statements about our expected results and how long they will take. So he has, he's, very, he's a realist about the expectations. The best thing about Manipal Hospital is the people. Their level of expertise in their nursing staff and the medical staff, the doctors, is exceptional. And their treatment of patients from 
all aspects is exceptional and to a very high standard. I would highly recommend them. Um, we have only positive things to say. I think the, the expert treatment that we have come for, I am hoping will be successful and time will tell that. Um, but you would be only in the world's best care. I have absolutely no hesitation in saying that. I am extremely pleased that we found the facility and were able to access its treatment. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart for helping my son. That's, that's all.